Hello, in this video I would like to show you an example of dependency inversion principle with observer pattern. So here we have two classes, user and weather forecast. So we may have a bunch of users uh, who are interested in weather forecast and they may subscribe to this weather forecast and then weather forecast will update those users, will inform them about something. So the user has constructor that takes weather forecast and the user subscribe itself and user thus depends on this weather forecast class, weather forecast class, which is concrete class. Here we have forward declaration. Uh, and then similarly weather forecast will have uh, a set of users that are subscribed that are subscribed to this forecast and it has function subscribe that takes a user and subscribes puts the user in this set so sub weather forecast also depends on this concrete class user and here is our implementation in constructor of user we take forecast and we pass to subscribe function uh, a reference to itself, a reference to the instance that we have just created in this constructor. And when we call notify, we just print notify and the address of the user object. And in weather forecast, subscribe function takes, takes the user and inserts the user in set. And then in update function, we just iterate over the users, over the subscribers and call notify. And here I create an instance of forecast. I create two users. I pass an instance of forecast to each of the user so that user can subscribe themselves and call update. So let's see that now we will have two, two prints. Users will be notified two times. So two different users, two different addresses of our user objects. And now let's look at these classes, at these classes in terms of dependency inversion principle. And we may see that both classes depend on implementation details. Both classes depend on concrete classes. Here, weather forecast and user. Both classes do not depend on abstractions. So these classes are coupled. They depend on lava layer uh, classes on implementation details and and these classes are not reusable and not really testable uh, very well because when we for example test user we need to also pass weather forecast and when we pass and we, when we test weather forecast we need to pass users so these classes are really uh, are, re are really coupled uh, and don't depend on abstractions but not only that uh, here we also have circular dependency because look user depends on depends on weather forecast and weather forecast depends on user uh, they are really coupled uh, and it's 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 not according to dependency inversion principle now let's try to improve this example let's try to invert the dependency and let's try to add abstractions and how can we do that we can do that using uh, dynamic polymorphism with virtual functions, abstract base classes and inheritance. And we can do it using templates in C++ and static polymorphism. So let's just do that. And let's first look at this templates example. Uh, let's this example with dynamic polymorphism. So here we have uh, created our abstractions. We have two abstractions, forecast and subscriber, two interfaces, two abstract base classes. Forecast has virtual function subscribe and it is, takes subscriber, so it depends on subscriber. We have forward declaration here, but subscriber is interface. So forecast interface depends on another interface. It depends on abstraction and it's fine. Uh, and subscriber has notify virtual function and then Weather forecast will inherit from forecast and implement this interface. And weather forecast will depend on subscribers. So weather forecast will subscribe 
objects using this base class subscriber. So it will rely only on this abstract base class subscriber. And user will inherit from subscriber, from this abstract base class subscriber, and take in its constructor uh, forecast also through base class for through base class, which is forecast. So user will also depend on, on abstraction. User will depend on interface and then subscribe itself. And here we create in the same way as we did before, we create a forecast. Uh, two instances of user, we pass forecast and we update. So let's let's have a look. That it's exactly the same, exactly the same output, but the code is now much better. These two classes are now decoupled. Uh, they uh, they depend on abstractions. They depend on 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 interfaces. Where the forecast depends on on subscriber and subscriber, uh, and, and user depends on 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 uh, uh, on forecasts, and they also depend on 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 the interfaces that they implement, but. These two classes do not do not know about each other. They do not care and do not have to know about each other. And they are completely isolated and decoupled. And now they both depend on abstractions. And dependency was inverted. They now depend on abstractions and not each other. And it's much more reusable now and testable because weather forecast can now subscribe different types of subscribers. Not only user, we may have other types that inherit from subscriber, implement this subscribe interface, and they may also subscribe to this weather forecast. So we may pass different types of subscribers. It is much more reusable now. Uh, and similarly, user may subscribe to many different types of uh, forecasts, not only weather forecasts, just what these what this classes care about is only about these interfaces, not concrete implementations. And when implementation of user changes or implementation of weather forecast changes, they do not impact each other. And they are now also more testable because when we test weather forecast, we may just pass a mock that, that inherits from, from subscriber. And similarly, when we test user, we may just pass a mock of forecast. When we test those classes, we don't have to pass concrete dependencies right so this code is much more maintainable reusable and testable and uh, there are no dependency on, on implementation details we depend on abstractions so this is much better this complies with dependency inversion principle here mm, using these abstractions but still there is this kind of you know you see uh, user depends on forecast and forecast depends, and, and weather forecast depends, depends on subscriber, and we have this uh, forward declaration. We have we need this forward declaration. There is this uh, not really really uh, good. Uh, and let's see why. And let's let's actually now move to to an example with templates. 